If you watch this video in its entirety, you are going to see what I call a New York coin line. New York is the most populated city in the United States, and its beaches get a lot of people. And think about it. When people go swimming, uh, maybe they have change in their pockets. Wallets don't even have compartments for change anymore. So they go swimming, change in their wallet, the wave hits, you know, they start going uh, horizontally, swimming, stuff falls out of their pockets. Their hands also shrink, rings could come off. Same thing with jewelry, um, chains, and such. But New York coin line, basically, you could get a lot from a, a single coin or a, from a single coin line or a single patch. This is going to be one of the better examples of a coin line that I think you will ever see on YouTube. Let's watch. There they are. No cars coming. It's a detecting gang right here. <laughs> Hey, good to meet you in person. Nice to meet you, Meryl. Mr. Indiana right, Tones. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> sir. Long time no see. How you doing? Let's see, let's see that uh, beast of a detector. Awesome. Ooh. It's lightweight. You I'm, to... I'm like honored that you actually waited. I mean, yeah. this you know. Is a beast. Holy shit. Excuse my life. Yeah. No, no, that's all right. Um, so one of the blessings I've had this year is uh, making new friends uh, through metal detecting. One, the company is great. Two, man, you learn a lot in terms of techniques mindsets, where to detect, all of the above. So, you know, you, you want to, if you're somebody who goes alone, which is what I did for many years, stop, go with friends. It's much better. It's nice that, that's light really light. light. Yeah. That's a nice it's backlight light. on it too. Yeah. Yeah. No, this thing, uh, yeah, this is heavy. <laughs> Takes a while to get used to. No, oh, I, I was going to say, I'm honored that uh, you didn't go straight to the beach. I know I would be dying to... <laughs> I am I'm, I'm so, pretty much... All right, let, let's oh, walk. I'm sorry. <laughs> Who is the last one to show up? This guy. My bad. This is some beautiful footage here. Oh, well, they have the whole Steeple Chase Park sticker. Oh, awesome. There were three big amusement parks. There was Steeple Chase and Steeple Chase. Okay, we have just made our way. I think they're trying to make this into Dead Horse Bay with plastic. <laughs> yeah, plastic bottle beach. Good God. Wow. Jesus, the beach like a wasteland. It's like post-apocalyptic New York right now. The garbage was absolutely unbelievable. Uh, and the sanitation department was absolutely unbelievable. I couldn't believe it how fast they just made the July 4th celebration garbage it. disappear. They have these machines that just picks up the bigger garbage. It doesn't pick up coins, doesn't seem to pick up um, smaller objects like rings, but uh, it it's so efficient. I couldn't believe it. Oh, look at that. We've got a pen sandwich. <laughs> And the socks to go with it. That's a good question. This is a phone case, of some sort. I'm gonna leave the uh, charger here just in case if the person comes back. But uh, yeah, we got uh, quite the job navigating this today. Uh oh, they're already at it. Jonathan's like, screw this. I want to try my new detector. Ketchup, yes. <laughs> oh, don't you love those? Hey, look at this. Brand new what? I could have used that a few years ago. <laughs> Robert just pointed out three brand new unopened pacifiers. We got sandals all over the beach. Just for the record, leaving sandals all over the beach, it's not littering. It's sandalism. Cookies all over the beach. The seagulls are going to have a good day. Holy cow, this is the dirtiest I've ever seen a beach. More sand. <laughs> wow. For 
first signal of the day, it's Corona. I have a feeling I'm gonna be getting a lot of these today. Well, the second signal's an interesting piece of metal here. Totally worthless, but sculptural. So I see a bunch of detectorists like these guys on the beach. I'm gonna brave the water <laughs> and uh, get in, I guess. And there's a lot of signals out here. Bottle cap, love these. So detectorists today have an interesting problem. I, I mean today, not as in, you know, 2019. I mean today as in people who are hunting this really, really messed up beach today have an interesting problem. And <laughs> you're gonna get too many targets. How do you discriminate that? How do you choose? The White's Beach Hunter 300, oh, I love it. It is so simple, it is made for dummies. And it's got a red signal for iron, it's got a yellow signal for uh, gold objects, nickels, uh, pull tabs and such, green signals for silver and copper. And basically, there were so many pull tabs on this messed up beach. Usually I love digging those yellow signals, but I'm sparing you some of the visuals here. There were so many bottle caps, it just was not worth digging uh, here for those rings. So I went for the coins. I'm getting a signal right now. That was a mix, I might have it in my scoop. That's a mix between red, which is an iron signal, and yellow, which is a um, bottle cap, pull tab, or ring signal. That interesting signal was a pair of batteries. Yikes. What a day. That was just a lot of work for a bottle cap. Man, people drink too much Corona. I'm telling you, I'm happy to see this uh, zinc penny. It's been that kind of morning so far. So we got a few different uh, things going on. We got detectorist here. We got, I count six detectorists on the beach. I'm moving down. <laughs> I mean, we got plenty of space here, but uh, you gotta think. Um, you know, a bunch of guys focused on one area. Let me... Ooh, ADHD. Then again, there's no shortage... No shortage of signals. Oh, I see it. More Corona. Okay, so people get upset. First of all, there's a boogie board here. You might grab that. But people get upset when uh, metal detectorists don't cover their holes. Look at this, that's insane. The choices you make as a detectorist depend on your worldview, I guess, if, uh, on how people lose stuff. For me, it's, uh, you know, slippage in the ocean. Your hands shrink, uh, you know, that's where rings fall off. And, uh, you know, I'm gonna focus most of my energy on the wet today. Well, not exactly, as you will soon see. And I see some bottle caps just in plain sight down here. I'm gonna get them out of the way. <laughs> Got a can about uh, six inches deep. That sucks. Look at the irony of this. All this garbage on the beach, all these empty garbage cans. It could be that they uh, already deposited things, but uh, oh man. Ruining my day here. Look at that. It's guacamole barf. Who does that? All right, first dime of the day. You know what I'm thinking now? Might be being a little, giving up a little bit too early on the wet. And uh, I think I'll go back there. This is gonna be a long day, but uh, it's gonna be high tide. Uh, we're heading towards high tide. I think what I'm gonna do is go around and only dig the green signals, which are the coin signals. You know that expression, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade? Well, we saw a bunch of lemons just laying out on the beach, guacamole, everything. Good God. Had to make something with it. You know, I, I was amongst friends. That was nice. And beautiful day. Something had to work out. So I kept searching. Yeah, of course. You know, I'd be missing out on rings, no doubt about it. But, man, look at this place. Everywhere. So I'm gonna go cherry pick some uh, green signals. Dime, that's 21 cents. We're going for 10 bucks. New mission, project 10 bucks. 
22 cents. 23. 25. Getting pretty sick of this. Found a deep signal, but it was just a C battery. 35. 61. 86. Well, I found a coin line. So, got a target over there, target there, and now another one right down here. So, I'm going to work the coin line. So, you are in business when you find a coin line. Now, you see objects that are similar weights and sizes, they tend to stick together on beaches. And the waves go in and out and um, tides and such. And it, it's a great consolidation system. It consolidates objects. And, uh, hello. <laughs> so long story short, uh, the power of the waves uh, will deposit these objects as it goes down the beach. And you could literally walk a straight line down the beach sometimes and uh, find these objects. And often they're scattered in various patches uh, that happen. Oh, and another one here. Eighty-six plus another twenty-five. I'll be back with the answer to that. That's one eleven. One twenty-one. Gonna keep working the uh, coin line. So now that I found a coin line, if I get a yellow signal, yeah, I'm gonna dig it. Coin line keeps producing. Um, I think that is one twelve. I'll count it again at the end. So here's where you slow down, you know. You find a coin line, you walk right down that coin line, you work the area. Here we go. First nickel of the day. So that brings us to 117, 118, 119. What the heck, Canada? This is messing with my head. It's a Canadian nickel. We're gonna count it. Um, I think that brings us to 123. Here's another American one, so that's 128. So let's take a look at what's developing here. We got a patch. You know, it's more than a coin line. The coin line started right here, and it worked down, got the majority of a dollar straight from this coin line, but it's going back. So. You know, it's uh, something, this is, coin lines are really patches, let's put it that way. But I'm going to walk down the beach at this, uh, at this point. Uh, that's what a coin line can tell you. So, you know, I'm going to look in and out, but I'm going to see where the highest density of uh, valuable objects are. I mean, that has to do with weight also. But uh, basically, long story short, this gives me a point where I can walk down the beach. 129. 30 131 tip about patches when you find them walk through it again and again because listen to that we missed something got it another penny I think that's 132 134 I got one it is the silliest thing ever but uh, it's a ring it was in the middle of this patch too, and this is the second or third time that I've gone through it. So, we got ourselves a ring and thus a trip to Taco Bell. 135. Oh look, the detectorist down the beach found my secret, the, the uh, coin line here. So he's working it on this side. Um, I just found another quarter, so that takes us 135 to 160, I believe. I'm going to keep uh, pounding this patch. Uh, one. 85 now We're going for 10 bucks today. Okay. Look at look at this guy Look at this guy Unbelievable. Yeah, Did you get it in the wet? Yeah, it was in the wet now right, right over here. I mean the next one the next side Oh, somebody's gonna need that. You got numbers on there. Wow. I guess that's how many uh, <laughs> Wow, we're in the future oh, man. Unbelievable it, man. Some coins. 195 I'm down the beach. I hit uh, a second patch uh, right along the same uh, uh, same distance from the ocean, just walking straight down. So this is where stuff is depositing. So this, let's see, we were 185. This is uh, 210. We're 
We have 235, 255 with another signal below, 280, 290. We're going to call that three dollars. We have 325. It's a wheat cent. Shoot, is that 311? Oh crap. 315, 335, 360, 361, 362, 363, 364, 389. 414, 415, somebody lost their keys, we're going to call that 450, 455, 456, <laughs> Indiana Tones, that's pretty cool, I think that came off a baby, <laughs> that's awesome dude, thanks, 460, 485, 486, 487, and this is a pretty one actually. Yeah, 1964 penny. Well, this is some interesting scrap metal. We have 512, 537, 547, 548. We have 549. Once we get to 550, I'm gonna start dumping some trash into the garbage pails. All right, there's 550, so let's do a cleanup. But 575 showed up on the way to the garbage pail. I'm not gonna fight that. 576 showed up on the way to the garbage pail. Alright, there's my junk, and I think Lou got something. Hi, I'm gonna head over there. Hey, what'd you get? I got, uh, hold on, hold on. Loaded over Hold on. Coins, nothing crazy. Pressure's on, Lou. Sweet! And a Susan B. Anthony somewhere in my pocket. That's awesome. Oh, you don't have to get it out. No, I'm just. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome. I had a bunch of subway change from the machines. Nice. Hope Jonathan's still alive. We were just saying the same thing. Yeah. 603. 628. 629. 630. 640. 641. Err. I'm going to round it again. I'm going to call it 650. 651, I think. I'm going to have to do this like a soccer match. I mean, <laughs> once I'm around 10, i got to make sure that, uh, you know, we get to like 1050 at least. 676. 701. 726. 727. 752. 753. Uh, 762. <laughs> Ay, caramba. 761. Shoot, we're gonna call this uh, 767 because uh, that's a nice jet. Why the hell not? And that would be 768. 769. 794. Oh my god, what did I just say two seconds ago? I could rumba. Um, plus 25 to that. Um, I think we were at 8. I'm gonna go to 11 to be sure, um, but we're gonna call we're gonna call this eight dollars. Eight twenty-five, eight thirty, eight dollars thirty cents. Maybe more, maybe less, because I lost count. I think you beat Lou. Lou has found four dollar coins, and I think you beat him. Oh, I don't know about that. Lou. No, no, no. <laughs> no. He he. Um. All right, eight thirty. We are regrouping, and then I, I can't leave without getting to ten dollars. That's just impossible in my OCD mind. <laughs> I know, right? Can't. I'm heavy right now. Hey folks, we're the Ghostbusters. Just making our way through town. Fighting ghosts. Who are you gonna call? Where's Mr. Tones? There's Mr. Tones. So this is, entire video essentially became a teachable moment. In a beach that has a lot of volume of people, you get a lot of drops, and you have to be persistent in hunting that. I was able to find a coin line, and, you know, I struggled for the first 10 minutes of this video, but uh, and really the first hour that I was at the beach. But after that, uh, it became uh, very doable. And I found that little ring uh, and uh, more than uh, $10 in coins. So 
essentially I walked right down the beach once I found that. And I'm telling you, parks, it's sporadic. The beach is strangely organized. Uh, you get clusters of things based on the weight and you can walk down the beach and you can find similar things. So let's wrap this up and take a look at what I found. So Merrill's about to go, but he's been separating out his good finds. Look at all those coins. There's also a ring in there somewhere. And this, yeah, we don't, we I don't guess know. this is going into the scrap. But <laughs> we, we don't know if Merrill's about to go. Merrill oh, sure sorry. feels like going. Oops. <laughs> he's tired, I know it's been a long but day. Look at Mer the snail Merrill's ring though. That's bucks. cute. All right. Sweet. Uh, That's insane. He's counting. So far he's up to seven dollars and quarters alone. Seven bucks. Here's eight. Eight. Eight dollars. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I'd say you have more than ten dollars. Alright, here's nine bucks. Yeah, that's at least a dollar in there because I see a, a lot of nickels and dimes in there, so. Oh you got it. In pennies alone you have more yep. than that. Ninety and okay, ten dollars. And change. There we go. Woo! Done. That See you tomorrow? <laughs> See you tomorrow. Yes. Sweet. <laughs> so final total was $11.19. And uh, I don't know if you have seen this series yet. I'm doing a series uh, called Becoming a Millionaire Metal Detecting. And uh, essentially, I am uh, saving the coins and uh, putting them into the stock market. So... Uh, and uh, I've been doing that over time. So I'm going to put a link up here. And uh, thanks for watching. And please check that series out.